Hey guys, so uh, today I finally reached 1,000 subscribers and the fact that I finally hit it means that I gotta celebrate a little bit. Enough. This video is basically just gonna be like the entire history of this channel and just go super deep into like how I got into this whole video making thing. Alright, so back when I was like really, really, really young, I had always loved just to open up the camera application and just take videos. This! Oh, I almost stopped it. This! I don't know why I liked doing that. I guess it's just me. Check it out. That's how to make a one. But even when I was two years old, you know, I was messing around with the camera on my iPod Touch. And I've always wished that I knew how to edit videos. So around 2016, I got a new iPad. And that iPad mini actually came pre-installed with iMovie on it. And the first thing that I made was one of the trailers. And I made it back in December of 2016. And it is one of the first videos that I've ever put through an editing software of any kind. And this opened up a whole, like, range of possibilities for me. Because I couldn't do jump cuts before. Because before I was doing transitions by literally covering the camera so my mom actually has a youtube channel called jolly rose 143 and i uploaded my first video on that channel six years ago about one and a half years before i even made the channel that you're watching this video on right now we stopped uploading to that channel like four years ago that channel has been like mostly discontinued i also have another channel which is my channel before i had my current channel and that channel was called jolly matthew 143 Oops, that's not good. <laughs> it's so wrong. <laughs> there were basically just videos about what I was interested about at the time. Think that a reason why. But that channel sadly got taken down. Somebody flagged me when I only joined YouTube in February 3, 2019. I still have no idea why that channel got taken down. So anyway, uh, fast forward a couple months. In May 23rd, 2019, I started this YouTube channel. And the first video was called Intro to Mathematic Vlogs. And it was another iMovie trailer. I think I used the romance trailer. I just liked it because of the music. But only three hours after I have released that video, my new YouTube channel got terminated again. Maybe because I was doing something called Ben evading but there was no reason why i should have been banned in the first place because like the videos i made back then were fine so about two months after my channel got terminated there was still time for me to send an appeal to youtube and you know try to like allow my channel to get back on youtube and you know after we sent that appeal the appeal actually worked and uh, you know my channel got taken back up and for maybe like a year after i have uh, gotten my youtube channel back i was extremely extremely skeptical of youtube's uh, terms of service every single time i uploaded a video i would have that thought in the back of my head like oh my god what if this video ends my channel and around this time i was also looking for a different uh, video editor to use because i'd already been using imovie for a couple of years at this point and i kind of wanted to try something new so i looked on the app store and there were many apps i would take for granted on the app store nowadays that didn't exist back then CapCut didn't exist so i'd found a different video editor and that was called kind master actually it's pronounced kitty master but i've always liked to pronounce it kind master because well that's how it looks like it's spelled. If you go back to my old videos from like late 2019, you will find a couple of my videos were made with Kindmaster. <laughs> so, you know, my YouTube channel was doing pretty well. I hit 10 subscribers in the 9th of September 2019. Just a few weeks back, I was at 5. Now I'm at 10. I hit 20 subscribers on the 25th of October 2019. Thank you guys so much for 20 subscribers. And I hit 30 in the 15th of November. I finally reached... 30 subscribers so things were going pretty good now it took me a while to get to 40 subscribers but at that point we were in the covid 19 pandemic and i'm sure everyone remembers the pandemic the covid 19 pandemic was a real struggle for a lot of people and you know back in march of 2020 we originally thought that this whole lockdown was only going to be a couple of weeks it ended up lasting literally one and a half years and because i had a lot of free time on my hands i could start pushing myself to improving my video editing skills once again thank you so much for 40 subscribers and i decided that i wanted to start using my computer for video editing using your computer for video editing leaves more options for video editing software even free video editing software and around that time i found a video editing program called davinci of 16.2 and i also began using my actual dslr camera which is a canon rebel t3i so when the 3rd of april 2021 almost three years ago now i hit a hundred subscribers i wanted to say a big thank you for 100 subscribers 
subscribers. I'll leave the video right up here. Like ever since I think mid 2020, I've lost motivation for YouTube just because how slow my subscribers were increasing. I think I would get like 50 subscribers a year and I would hit 150 subscribers in the 22nd of March, 2022, which is almost one year later, which is insane. But in April, 2023, I made a video that would change everything. And this video was about me trying to recreate people's motion graphics that you would find on YouTube. In this case, I found that Mr. Who's the Boss used really cool visuals, so I just wanted to recreate them in DaVinci Resolve. And this video is when I really got the chance to sort of show off my video editing skills. And for that video, I simply just decided to do something different. But that video exploded. My latest video where I changed some stuff up oh a bit goodness, already has 200 views. The video now has hours. like 2.4 thousand views. It only views. takes me 200 views to get that one. And until then, my subscriber count was increasing at a very consistently slow pace. You know, it just made me super happy that that was happening. Just seeing when I poured my heart and soul into finally, like, start growing and all that. You know, it was just a very nice feeling. And by August of 2023, I would have had around 350 subscribers by then. But that's also the month that I started uploading YouTube shorts. And that really changed everything. <laughs> Now, I've heard people say that YouTube Shorts is a goldmine when it comes to subscribers and views. And if you don't know what YouTube Shorts are, it's a completely different format of video. It's vertical, and it's only limited to around 60 seconds long, so you have to explain everything quickly. It is a lot easier to push these videos out than normal long videos, because, well, long videos take a longer amount of time to make. So then I started uploading YouTube Shorts. I uploaded the first one, I uploaded the second one. And then I uploaded the third one, and the third one got 3.4 thousand views within the first day, which is absolutely insane to me. So that's when I knew, hmm, YouTube Shorts really is a goldmine. And then just a couple days ago, I finally hit a thousand subscribers after, you know, <laughs> after almost five years of grinding. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. This video, <laughs> oh my goodness, an hour and five minutes of recording time, I'm actually surprised that my battery in my camera is still going but uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you loved it please subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video my channel is growing it's growing